Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. This channel is about twin flame ascension. Twin flames, soulmates, ascension, symptoms. And if this is new to you, please like and subscribe because you will find out a lot of information. In this video, I want to let you know about what is coming up here for the June solstice. For the solstice, there are going to be a lot of significant changes. Now, this is not just simply because the masculine has had it and that there's no longer the ability to support old things as they've once stood. The old support systems are crumbling even as we speak, even as we keep seeing it. Part of the reason why the world seems to keep going crazy. But nor can you continue all of the old patterns of relationship. That's where it's really going to get strange because many people will think that they've been doing the right things in attracting their true soul, their twin flame, the etheric body, only to find that they start tripping around in disbelief, confusion, and not really knowing what is a soulmate and what is a twin flame. Now, for years I've been teaching this and I've seen patterns. Someone meets someone or feels an energy, has a Kundalini rush, starts going off the deep end, their life turns upside down, and then what happens? They begin the process. Now, within that process, there is a lot of unbelievable things that happen. For example, have you ever sought love and ended up with a criminal charge? Many people on the twin flame journey have. I don't advocate it. I don't condone running and chasing and stalking and creating false profiles. Your soul has a better way for you to connect with your true love without getting into trouble. There is a way to do this that is sensible without squandering your resources either. So I have a presentation coming up in three parts. We are starting June 12th and you can find out what is a soulmate, what is a twin flame. This is absolutely crucial for many people because soulmates are in abundance, but not all those soulmates are people that you should be associating with. Your soul knows, but how do you really know what is the truth and what isn't? That is where we are going to do some digging on this and work at it. And you are going to be informed and you're going to learn. What is a twin flame? What are the key differences? Because many people think that it's interchangeable and it is not. It is not interchangeable. And I'm going to say it for the record yet again, there is only one. People get confused about that. What if one walks in and one walks out? We're going to talk about it. So make it your business to show up for this. Because like it or not, this is the direction of it. You have to be able to uh, do your twin flame ascension. It's going to keep making itself known again and again and again. You shouldn't have to go through 20 people to get to where you need to go. And yet in the past, that is what people have felt that they have to do because things have not been clear. So in part one, this is being presented in three parts. In part one, we are going to cover what is a soulmate? What is a twin flame? What are the differences? Why you need to know this? And what it all is and what it's about. Why the lists out there that you see, how do you know if it's your twin flame? Why those lists have a lot of outdated information and why you really can't go by those lists because if you're taking that as sort of some gospel truth you're going to find out that on some of them it's just wrong it's just wrong it's mistaken it is erroneous information and that's just how it is and in some ways it, there have been wrong information throughout years other information within part one what do you do to break patterns and finish the karma, break the karma, not even worry about karmic balancing? Because if you stay in karmic balancing, you're just going to keep repeating things that you should have already learned lessons on. Having a karmic soulmate shouldn't be examined and analyzed to death where you're saying, what was I supposed to learn from this? If you haven't learned lessons by now, you're going to really get lost in this. So take the next step, which is to let me help you up level 
integrate your twin flame body and make the connection with the etheric body that you are supposed to. That's how you get up into another level. And it's not with the mind. It's not by being a psychologist about it. Leave the psychology to the psychologist. That's what they went to years of school and clinicals for. We are doing this without deep psychology. We are doing this with 5D love. We are doing it with the techniques and the modality that I have developed, which expedites it, leaves it very clear for you, and actually clears your energy so that you can feel what this is about. In part two, we are going to work on clear your ego and with the ego, okay? Like, so people will say, are you in your ego? Guess what? Your ego's been there to protect you, but your ego has been up against other people's egos. We're going to work on clearing ego, hara, sacral root connections because those all go together. They have been a part of the fourth dimensional old paradigm, and yet it's time to leave because there is nothing supporting it. We're going to talk about the reasons why you should do that. We are going to talk about ending all the games because some of those dating games are deadly. People are getting harmed. People are getting hurt. People are ending up dead. People are ending up with criminal charges on them. I don't recommend any of it. If you don't believe that your higher self has a better plan for you and that this was pre-planned with key seated stuff inside you and you have to go willy nilly out there and put yourself into harm's way then you're just wrong about it and I don't want you to be dead wrong. The next thing in part three, reconnecting the true inner etheric body with the true outer etheric body. So moving along with this, how do you do this? So this is in three steps, clear up level, reconnect, get you going for level one, experience and really feeling what it's supposed to feel like. Now, the things that you do will require you to focus on what you're breaking up with. That is going to come up because reconnecting means you are not dragging a whole lot of old stuff along with you. You cannot hold space for people. You can't hold space for the wrong person hoping that they'll show up again. If you've been ghosted, then you saw the ghost and that's it. Put it to bed. It's a corpse. It's going to get stinky. I don't, I don't wish this upon anyone. This is highly confusing. You have everyone from someone who has a crush thinking it's their twin flame to people who are hanging on to dear life onto a dead situation, a dead end relationship, and it is dead ending their life. If you are someone who does not want that to happen to you, if you want to cooperate with your twin flame ascension and the reason why you were awakened to begin with, it doesn't matter how it came about. It doesn't matter if someone turned your life upside down, if you had a Kundalini rush, if you had several rushes that ran up your spine and like made you feel like you were blowing circuitry all over your body. It doesn't matter if it happened in a drug fog. It doesn't matter if it happened while you were hammered. On alcohol, it doesn't matter if something showed up at a crisis point in your life. Once it happens, it's on. And you can't ignore it. And the best thing to do is be proactive. Cooperate with it. Because that will bring you excellent results with my tutelage and guidance. It's time to level up for the real level of living. It's time for me to help you with your twin flame ascension because my love mission is to help you integrate the brand new twin flame body that brings you into your 5D life and romance. There's a lot of people out there that will tell you that this is not romantic. Oh, contraire. If you only know the level of passion that you are, it's your birthright, you are entitled to it. You've forgotten. Let's get you reacquainted with who you really are, get you reacquainted with your true other half, and let's ditch all of the soulmates that you have to leave behind. There will be some special information on people that are married. 
Married people too have activations and wake up. There is a way to do this so that it benefits you and it doesn't hinder or jeopardize where you may be right now. Because if you need that, you need it. But if you have an eye towards breaking up that karmic situation, this will also benefit you because it is beneficial for everyone concerned. I hope to see you there. Please check the links below for the description. I will be talking about this more. There's a lot to know. There's things that people know need to know about earth soulmates and cosmic soulmates. That's what I call them, cosmic soulmates, why it is. But come and try, and we do it in the most expedited way possible using your twin flame body through my modality, which actually is the thing that I've worked on for years to make it very precise. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll be back for more. Bye.